Thank you very much for joining me. How you been? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back, 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 Steve Ranazizi. I'm the guy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to What's the Odds with Steve Ranazizi. I'm on the fly today. Fly, look how good I look. Look how good I look today. It's Why picture day. So, dude, it looks like yes. picture day. Look at these pants. Whoa. Yeah, dude. White belt, white shoes, no hat, because I'm going to play Friars Head Golf Club. What does that mean to the two of you? Tell me. Uh... Yeah, the Friars Roast. Yeah. Okay. Fine. The same Not people. About. It's it's some uh, casually fancy golf club. Well, it's probably what if not the top five most exclusive clubs in the entire world. Uh, you probably you'll never get on Augusta uh, if you don't know somebody, and you might never get on this place if you don't know somebody. Where is it? It's located right next to. My golf club on the like on the North Shore of Long Island, right on the Sound. My club is not nearly as nice as it's nice, but it's not nice as this place. Mark Wahlberg's a member. It's like a million dollars to join. Yeah. Okay. Now, how did I get on it? Is it? Am I dying? Is Steve dying? Is this a make a wish? No, the Netflix stock is finally up. The Netflix stock is up. I'm not joining, but my brother-in-law does HVAC work for them for the last two years. <laughs> <laughs> and basically he's he's ingratiated himself so much to them they love him so much that they're like hey if you ever want to play he's like i don't play but my brother-in-law plays so he got me a tea time me and my brother and two of our friends and so we're playing today this afternoon i mean theoretically if you could get a, if you could get someone to bring you it's about nine to a thousand dollars a round plus 200 bucks for the caddies because they have to you know, they got no phones. Yeah. Don't bring your phone out of your car. Don't even bring it out. Okay. And no disgraceful behavior. But I am, I'm so excited. I am so, it's like Christmas morning for me. I'm very excited. I mean, I'm, I'm not exactly excited about where the state of my game is. I've been playing that much recently. And so it's not going to be great, but I'm going to have fun and I'm going to play well and not put pressure on myself. And I'm going to be Aaron Rodgers. I'm going into it with an Aaron Rodgers mentality. What will be, will be. Have fun with it. Enjoy the process. Okay? And make the most of it. And by the way, that guy did last night. I, I don't know what you guys were talking before I got on because I was running late. But you, I heard you saying something about so-and-so didn't look great. Yeah, the Patriots did not look great. That but offensive same, line was not good. It was not, but it was the same Patriots team that beat the Bengals week one and ran and Ron, Mon I don't know how to say his name, Stevenson, Ron Mon Stevenson. How do you say his Ramondre. name? Ron? Yeah, Ramondre. Yeah. The, the thing is like when you have a new coach and he's a former player, it's like the Antonio Pierce effect when he got brought into a bad team and, and they started winning games. You have that like it's us versus everybody mentality. Yeah. And the Bengals clearly were not ready to play football because half of their superstars didn't participate in the off season and in preseason. So I think it was just one of those situations where it was like, yeah, we had a team that was ready and focused and now we're three weeks in and we're seeing what the Patriots actually are versus what they were when they were playing somebody that wasn't ready to play them. Okay. That being said, I'm not really here to talk about the Patriots as much as I am. Aaron Rodgers, dude, looked good. He was moving he looked, in the pocket. He was moving outside the pocket. He yes. just had that one errant throw at the end there uh, where he had Wilson wide open and kind of bounced it to him. Uh, but other than that, it was a very clean game. So, a very clean, good game, especially for the home crowd, for being, yeah. you know, his first game back since he blew out the Achilles. So I'm happy that – but I was more, more than happy. I was impressed. I really – I said, this guy – and not only that, but, like, that – that Allen kid, the backup to Brees Hall, looks dynamite too. Like they got yeah. two dynamite running backs there. I think it's also funny that the youngest well, that guy offensive line is insane. 
Well, they should be. They got a lot of, you know, I mean, they reconstructed it. They did it. Yes. Now they did get a cut. They get let up a couple sacks, but that's going to happen. Um, but we, even I, I would like quarterback. This, he got a he got a hit going out of bounds one time, and it wasn't a late hit. It was just a hit that maybe you don't do if it's Aaron Rodgers. But the guy did it, and yeah. he didn't look back to go, "What are you doing?" Blah blah blah. He's like, "That's football. Everyone go back to the huddle." And so it's not like he was like, uh, you know, you got to everyone's got to protect me at all times, no matter what. I feel like he's still a football player, and he's still willing to take contact and do the things he has to do to win the game. Now we talked last week. I said he didn't push the you know Brees Hall forward on the fourth down. He might not want to get involved in that kind of stuff, but he looked good last night. He yeah. looked mobile, and his arm is still pretty insane. There are very few quarterbacks that can make throws that he makes. And also, reading the defense, there's no one better that does it. Now that Brady's retired, there's no one better that does it. Mm. And so he almost wins the play at the line of scrimmage. It might have to be a situation where coverage gets broken down or the line doesn't do what they're supposed to do, but... He probably is nine times out of ten knows where he's supposed to and wants to throw the ball, and so before the ball snap, and I that's if this can continue for them, if their defense can hold. Now again, it's going to get harder. The games, you know, their schedule gets a little harder. That I want to see them play Buffalo, but the fact that Miami's where Miami is now, and by the way, I got to talk to you about a trade, and the fact that the at the uh, New England now, you know, you're better than New England. It's really only the Bills and, and the Jets to kind of decide who's going to win this AFC East. Which is, I think, what we all thought before the season started. Um, you know, honestly, I, I, like I said, I, I thought it was going to be Miami and, and the Jets going no, at it. No, no, think- no. Because Miami lost too much on the defensive side of the ball, and they lost Vic Fangio, and now it's a whole new system, and you got well, AG. Yeah. Jalen Ramsey, by the way, is 0-5 since he called Josh Allen trash against him. He hasn't beaten him since he said that. So um, they they lost too many pieces on that defense, and you know, unfortunately, they have the best skill position players on offense, arguably in the league. I mean, maybe Houston, maybe Forty ers you could argue are better, but between Tyreek and Jalen and and Achan and and Mostert, and then Tua running that offense of precision passing, there's not many that are better than them. The problem is they're all kind of tiny and they get hurt easily. So you have this issue of the defense being really bad and the offense being one hit away from everyone going down. And that's kind of what's coming to fruition. Miami was a high risk bet. If you were taking them to win the division, whereas Buffalo is a little bit more stable, even with a young defense untested, but you have Josh Allen and even with a new wide receiving core, there's just Josh is so good it doesn't really matter and James Cook has kind of established himself as a top ten running back um, and then the Jets on paper I don't know if there's a better team top to bottom than the Jets and if Rodgers plays like he did last night every game then that's that's your Super Bowl contender right there. Uh, speaking of uh, trades and fantasy stuff that we were talking about, I wanted the the, uh, the Dolphins. Uh, Jackson want he needs a running back, and so I got Saquon Barkley. He offered me Josh Jacobs and Tyreek Hill for Saquon Barkley in our other league, not this league. Uh, I don't know because Tyreek's got a lot of question marks, and now who's throwing him the football? Exactly. Look what he did exactly. last week. That's what you could be trading for. Whereas Saquon is clearly going to be a focal point of a very good offense. I I don't know if I would do that deal. I don't want Tyreek. Jacobs, okay, it's still a step down, but yeah, what's another piece that you could get from him? I mean, that that I felt like he's like that's the that's all I'm willing to give. You got a running back to replace Barkley, and that's not the same. And I'm giving you Tyree Kill, and I'm like, all right, let me. Tyree think Kill it. isn't Tyree Kill right now, though. That's what, I mean, he I know all this, but I'm I think trying to see if- here's what you do: if if Miami goes out and they make a trade for a quarterback. Then you circle back and you aggressively, and depending on who that quarterback is, you do it. If it's Skylar Thompson, I don't think you want to mess with that. You're going to have weeks where, yeah. yeah, he'll he'll bust out and have a huge touchdown, and then you'll have weeks where he has three catches for 30 yards. So I don't think you want to be in business for that. But if they go and they get Tannehill, or um, we, I, I've heard uh, trade rumors that they might go and get Matt Stafford, try to get him from the Rams. If they go and get Matt Stafford, then fuck yeah, go and yeah. Get, then you'd be absolutely robbing and blind getting Tyreek and Jacobs for Barkley. But I think you just kind of just stand pat right now. 
Yeah. Um, we did all right gambling last week. I won my game. Uh, I you lost. Both that of you lost. Ins- that was an insane finish, though. Did you watch the Baltimore game? No. They had a ten point lead. They were completely in control, and they just they let Vegas crawl back in. It was like, so ugly. What happened at the end there? Are they a good team or are they are they like I think they're a good team. They're just not playing good yet. And I don't like they have Todd Dallas Monken. Week, don't they? Yeah, but Dallas mm-hmm. isn't good and they're not playing good. Um, and that's another situation where they lose their defensive coordinator and now their defense is in shambles. Shambles. That just brings me to the Giants. Let's talk about the Giants for a second. Complete well, you, shambles. You, you got to go to Cleveland. So it just keeps well, getting we're, worse. We're making history. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Last year, we were probably the, the first team to almost win and and not have a passing yard. Yeah. And this year, we're the first team in the history of the NFL, the history, the long history of the NFL, to score three touchdowns, not give up a touchdown, and lose in – in regular time. Yeah. Uh, it's unbelievable. Now, it's been picked apart. I don't know. Should Dable have figured out another way for the kicker? Should he have, you know, kept another kicker just in case? Gano said he was hurt, but then he kicked a 50-yarder in pre-game. Uh, he, you know, he, got, just, he got hurt on, like, the – wasn't it the opening kickoff or something? The opening kickoff, yeah. But, you know, he told Dayball, like, a couple days before, my hamstrings – you know, a day before, my hamstrings bothered me a little bit, but I think uh, it should be good to go. Yeah. So there was time to kind of figure something out, but, you know, then warm-ups, and he was all right. And then he kicked the 50-yarder during warm-ups, and he was all right. And then opening kickoff, which, by the way, didn't even count because there was a penalty. He blows out his fucking hamstring, and now we have no one to kick the ball. The punter tries to kick. He misses the first extra point. So now it's just two-point conversions from here on in. And Malik Neighbors finally had a game that you were like, yeah. Well, not finally, but I mean, it's only a third game. But had a game that you were like, yes, this is what we wanted. This is what we drafted. 150 yards, a touchdown, elite receiver. But then at the end, you know, it's it's fourth down and two or third down and two. And you we can't. We got to go for it. So it's fourth down and two, I think, at this point. We just we need to get the ball or at the thirty yard line. Perfect pass to him, and he drops it. He was it was almost an exact replica of the Saquon thing. He would have got the first down, no problem. We could have run the clock out. Instead, we fourth down, we turn the ball over, we give it back to them. They go down thirty yards, and they score a field goal. The game's over. So, you know, it just it's. It's so disappointing and then so crazy how many different ways we lose. Now this week we have Cleveland. So I understand, uh, you know, I'm up against the clock here as far as when I have to leave. But I will say this. This is my pick for this week. Don't do it. Uh, Don't, Brenton. You you almost made me drop the phone. (laughs) Don't do it. The New York Giants. No, they're not. I'm not saying they're going to win. Oh, but they're not going to do anything. They're going to cover the six <laughs> and a half oh, point. Oh, my God. No. They're not playing Washington's defense this week. They're going to cover. Uh, I'm not saying they're going to win, but they will cover the six. I am right two weeks in a row. Follow me. Yeah. I've taken the sure thing two weeks in a row, and it's blown up in my face. Both times, dickhead. Uh, Both times. Baltimore, shit the bed. Bengals, shit the bed. Thank God I didn't buy that survivor pool. Thank God I did not. That's going to cost them. Because that's a very tight division, and now they're they're both way behind. Like, Pittsburgh's going to keep winning games. I lost my survivor pool week one because of the bank. It's 200 bucks out the window. I think just can, about everybody did. You can buy back in for 300 one time. One time. I'm looking at the schedule and I'm like, oh, there's no way Vegas is going to be. I almost did it. I almost did it. And thank God I didn't. I didn't do it. But we don't know what's going to happen. But what I do know is that the Giants are not going to lose and have the other team cover the spread three weeks in a row. It's not going to happen. Okay. We will cover the six and a half points. 
Lucas, we what might game lose do you like? Goal. Yeah, you're going to lose. Yeah, we um, might lose. We might lose. Not, not might. We might lose. <laughs> not might. But we will go down by less than a field goal. All right? I hope so, but... Well, crap, Steve. That was the game I was going to pick. Thank you, dude. But you weren't going to go the way I did, you're, right? You're going to go the other way, right? Son of a no. bitch. <laughs> you motherfucker. Lucas, I'm telling you right now, dude, it's good. come with me, bro. Put some cash <laughs> with me on this thing. I'm telling you. Lock it up, guys. Just the way Shoei Otani got 50-50 last night. 51-51, dude. This guy's unbelievable, dude. Insane. If you get him two more weeks, he might get to 60-60. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, he's nuts. And How much do you think the 50 uh, home run ball is going to go for? I don't know, but I saw that it was on fucking bloodbath to get it. It fell into, like, one of those restaurant sections. Yeah. People were flipping tables and shit, trying to get it out. Yeah, that's a multi-million dollar ball. No, dude, you do the right thing. You give it right back to him. Come a, oh, 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 you, you give him the bow. The guy is worth eight hundred million dollars. He can afford, he, can, he can give you a couple of bucks. He will, dude, but don't ask for it. No, I'm asking for it. This. You get more. Hey man, hey, let me man. let me be your translator. I like to gamble. You do, yeah. Give me a job for a year. Konnichiwa. You want to see money disappear from your account? I'm your guy. How great would that be? Yeah, if we could use his money to place all these bets, that would be phenomenal. <laughs> Do you think this guy, I mean, like, the, there, he's in jail. Like, he, get, he gambled, like, six, $10, 15000000 million. Yeah. That's and, crazy. And that's how much money he has that Otani just didn't notice. I'm not going to be that greedy. I'll, $2 million and you'll never see me again. <laughs> like a ghost <laughs> in the night, dude. <laughs> Gone, bro. Um, all right, that's my pick. I don't know what okay. you guys are gonna that's, do. That's that's fine. You're that's entitled it, to your guys. pick. That's I'm you're entitled you right to your now. pick. I'm going with the Bengals, but I'm gonna tease it down from seven and a half. I want it at uh I want it at seven. They're gonna win yeah. by a touchdown against Washington. I'm going right back to the Bengals. I, I trust in them. Uh, they played a lot better against Kansas City. They look more like the Cincinnati Bengals that we expected. And Washington's, as you saw, Washington's secondary is dog shit, and their defense sucks. And Jamar Chase is playing for a big contract, and he's going to go off this week. And I think they'll get T. Higgins back. Uh, so it's going to be the full complement of weapons for Joe Burrow, who played pretty good football over that fumble against Kansas City. But also they got fucked on penalties again, and – I think we all have learned that you need to be beating Kansas City by at least 10 points going into the fourth quarter. Yeah, well, it's or, over. or the officiating is going to oh, let them God. right back in. <laughs> Listen, before you do yours, Lucas, I got to run, guys. I love you guys. Watch my New York Giants possibly even win this fucking game. I'm going to double back and say They're possibly not gonna fucking, fucking win. win. No, you're out of your mind. All right. I'll talk to you guys next week. All right. Good luck. Bye. Give me the Bucks over the Broncos. Okay, hang on. Bet TSI just cr crashed. I hate this site. Crash. We need to legalize California. We need to legalize gambling so I could just do this on DraftKings or FanDuel or wherever and get better. Okay, here we go. We got the Bucks over the. Are you taking them uh, minus six and a half? Or are you taking them on the money yeah. line? Yeah, no, okay. with points. All right. Yeah, Denver has really not looked like much of anything. Um. So we've got uh, the Giants covering six and a half. We have the Bengals minus seven and the Bucks minus six and a half. So $50 is going to net us $295.33. Lock it in. Although, the Giants picks one of the worst ones I've ever seen. Yeah, that's, uh, I wouldn't follow the Homer pick. I, I would advise – I know I'm not one to talk, and he is 2-0 and on the season, but uh, that was the homer pick of all homer picks because you don't see either one of us taking the Bills, and the Bills will will beat the Jaguars and should cover the five points this week. Uh, Jacksonville two Monday night games. Yeah, two Monday night games. Um, Jacksonville's secondary is very banged up, and it wasn't great to begin with. 
Uh, there, Josh Allen changed his name, so now it's his full name instead of just Josh Allen. So he's admitted that he's not the Josh Allen in the league. Um, he is the beta to our alpha. And uh, Buffalo at home on Monday night, a lot of energy, and they're playing really good football. They're going to win this game by at least a touchdown. Could have taken that, but went with the boys. Um, Rebel oh. troops. But yeah, that's uh, it's a quick podcast today. Uh, thank you for listening, subscribing, liking, and uh, feel free to DM any of us if you have uh, betting, uh, you want some betting advice, you want some fantasy football advice, setting your lineups, you want some uh, DraftKings advice. I'm always uh, ready to answer any questions that you have. Uh, but yeah, hope you win some money this week, and we will see you uh, next time. Go Bills. Go Bills. Thank you very much for joining me. How you been? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back, back, back. Steve Ranazizi. I'm the guy.